Sets are really important in mathematics. A set is any collection of objects, and we use set notation to write them. Now, there are different ways we could write them depending on the context and depending on what's easier. And what method you should choose in real life will depend on your audience and how complex your idea is. Some of these methods are easier to use in certain situations than others. The first way to write a set is to just list all the members of the set, everything, every object that's in a set. So this set is the set containing the elements, or members, or objects. Those are all the same word. Uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. Another way is to describe what all the objects in the set have in common, and what no object in the set that's not in the set uh, could possibly be described with. So in this case, the odd natural numbers greater than 0 and less than 14 describes every element that's in the set, and no element that's not in the set. Now the third way of describing it is a more formal way called set builder notation. And you might want to watch this part of the video over and over again until you get what every part of it means. So here's what it looks like, and now I'm going to tell you what it says. All the numbers, x, that are in the natural numbers. So x is an arbitrary number. It could be any number such that that condition is met. In other words, x could be any number as long as it fits that condition. And the set is composed of all those numbers that are in the natural numbers, such that the condition that x is greater than 0 and less than 14 and x is odd, such that the condition in the circle applies. And I think the best way to um, get the hang of this is with a lot more practice and exposure. Now the n that you see uh, is the set of natural numbers. And uh, the particular font it's in is called Blackboard Bold. You might not ever see this if you're in a high school. It depends on how much rigor your teacher is using. But there are very good reasons why it's important to say what type of number or object you're dealing with before you write about the condition. So it's important that you say that we're dealing with all the natural numbers x, that we call x, but it could be y, it could be any letter, that fit this condition.